So hello uh, again, let me brief you on the fact that uh, the Council uh, <coughs> will come today uh, the briefings by the Special Representative, by Mr. O'Brien and by Madame Radi al Mutakawi. You heard the, uh, the uh, impressive statements they made in the Chamber. Uh, which have impacted uh, once again on the, on, I, I believe, on, on humanity in, in its entirety, but also certainly the members of the Security Council who are seriously concerned on the uh, devastating humanitarian impact of the conflict in Yemen uh, in, on the people, including the recent cholera outbreak. But we emphasize that the humanitarian situation in Yemen is entirely man-made and it will continue to deteriorate in the absence of a peace agreement. Therefore, the members of the Council called on all parties to cease all hostilities, to allow safe, rapid and unhindered access for humanitarian supplies and to facilitate access for essential imports of food fuel and medical supplies into the country and their distribution throughout the country. To uh, the access also necessary to all ports in Yemen, including Hodeida. Uh, the members of the Security Council emphasize their strong support for the work of the UN Special Envoy for Yemen, Ismail Lul Sheikh Ahmed, and for his tireless efforts to bring about a peace in Yemen. But also we strongly condemn the attack on Mr. Sheikh Hamid, on his convoy, and we underline the need to ensure the security of humanitarian and United Nations personnel. Uh, also the members uh, encourage the parties to engage constructively with the UN Special Envoys in Yemen to achieve a political solution to the conflict, uh, and certainly the members of the Security Council reaffirm their strong commitments to the unity, sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity of Yemen. That's what I have to say. Any discussion of the, air, the, the airport in particular? There was an NGO letter written to all council members talking, uh, citing a number of things, but if, that the, the commercial flight should be reallowed. Mm -hmm. Is it something you think the council will call for in a press statement or a well, presidential statement? Well, you just heard uh, Sheikh uh, Hamed uh, making reference to his efforts uh, in this sense, and certainly all those uh, things that have to be negotiating in the field are best left to the uh, management and the discretion of the special envoy. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Ambassador. Um, my question about Hudaida initiative. We asked the special envoy about if, it's ne if there is a necessity to adopt a draft a, a resolution at the Security Council dealing with Hudaida. Do you support adopting a new resolution vis-à-vis -vis the situation in Hudaida? Thank you. Uh, obviously, that is a, a question that I, could only, that I could only answer in my national capacity. Uh, if that were the case, yes, we would support. We believe that we might not need a resolution to get uh, the data uh, working. Uh, but again, in my national capacity, we would not have any difficulty in working on a new resolution. We don't believe it's necessary. Yes. Thank you, Ambassador Majid Gili, Ruda Media Network. I want to ask you about today's meeting about Mosul. Uh, who asked for the meeting and was it about why now to have a meeting about uh, the operation in Mosul? Uh, the meeting was called by the delegation of the United States, the concern of the humanitarian situation in Mosul. Why now? We will, we will hear when, uh, when we meet uh, later on today. And I question the uh, issue was raised as a, under any other business and it is a prerogative of the members of the council to do so. No, it's consultations. Thank you, Ambassador Stefano Vaccara, Radio Radical in Rome and La Voce di New York. If you want in your national capacity, uh, um, there was a, last week a, a trip of uh, President Trump in, in Saudi Arabia. Um, he did a speech. Do you think that speech helped this process for Yemen, 
What's, uh, what you expected, what the Security Council expected from this trip in Saudi Arabia, or you, you, what you expected something more? Uh, very frankly speaking, uh, you know, entirely on my national capacity, we analyze things when they're said, as they're said, and we wait for the repercussions before we make any pronouncements, if needed be. So we're analyzing that in our own, in our own uh, system in Montevideo, and at this point in time, I have no comments to make. Thank you. Yes. You may ask. I might not respond. Yes. Uh, during his briefing to the council, Mr. Mladino gave a very bleak picture about the situation in Gaza. And this is, comes back and forth to the Security Council, and the Security Council had failed miserably in addressing the humanitarian situation in Gaza, the way they address the humanitarian situation in Yemen or in Syria or in Iraq. Why is that, sir? I think it's been addressed. It might not have been addressed successfully, but we have not ignored at all the situation in, in, in Gaza haven't been done anything. I mean, I know it has been addressed. I think, I think that, you know, for, for collective Security Council uh, decisions and movements, you need, uh, if not consensus, you need a majority, and uh, there has been no consensus on any specific measure by the Council so far. And, it is unfortunately something that is not new. Gracias. Thank you very much.